Today, we explore the gripping and complex world of Steve Larson's renowned novel, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. This literary masterpiece intertwines mystery, family saga, love story, and financial intrigue into a compelling narrative. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo starts with Michael Blomqvist, a journalist co-owner of Millennium Magazine in Stockholm. His career hits a major setback when he's convicted of libeling a powerful industrialist, Hans Erik Wennerstrom. The conviction shakes his credibility and leaves him facing a short prison term. Meanwhile, Lisbeth Salander, an enigmatic and deeply private investigator, is assigned to conduct a background check on Blomqvist. Despite her young age and punk appearance, Salander is an extraordinarily skilled hacker with a photographic memory and a complex past. She works for Dragon Armensky at Milton Security and is under legal guardianship due to a troubled and traumatic childhood, which is gradually revealed to the reader. Henrik Vanger, an aged former CEO of a large Swedish industrial group, then approaches Blomqvist with a proposition. Henrik seeks to resolve the mystery of his great niece, Harriet Vanger, who disappeared during a family gathering on the secluded Hedeby Island over 40 years ago. Henrik is convinced that Harriet was murdered, possibly by a member of their extensive and dysfunctional family. As a reward for solving this mystery, Henrik offers Blomqvist substantial evidence against Wennerstrom. Blomqvist, after some deliberation, accepts the offer and moves to Hedeby Island. He begins his investigation by studying the Vanger family history, a sprawling saga of business success tinged with dark secrets, including connections to Nazi sympathies during World War II. The family is depicted as a complex web of relationships, with each member harboring their own secrets and grudges. The investigation initially moves slowly, with Blomqvist digging through old photographs, police reports, and interviewing surviving members of the Vanger family. He discovers that Harriet had been very close to Henrik and had been troubled by something before her disappearance. The only clue to her fate seems to be a series of photographs she took during the family gathering on the day she vanished. Lisbeth Salander, following her investigation into Blomqvist, becomes intrigued by his case. Despite her initial misgivings about him, she decides to use her hacking skills to assist him. When Blomqvist discovers her intrusion into his computer, instead of being angry, he is impressed by her abilities and invites her to join the investigation. Together, they uncover a trail of gruesome murders across Sweden, dating back several decades. These murders, they realize, are symbolically linked to passages from the Bible, and they were all women who were either Jewish or had Jewish connections. This revelation suggests a motive rooted in anti-Semitism and misogyny. As they delve deeper, the duo discovers that Harriet had been researching these murders herself, suggesting that she had uncovered something sinister within her own family. This line of inquiry leads them to focus on Harriet's father, Gottfried, and her brother Martin, both of whom had histories of sexual predation and violence. The investigation takes a dramatic turn when Blomqvist is captured by Martin Vanger. In a terrifying encounter, Martin confesses to continuing the chain of murders started by his father. He also reveals that Harry had discovered their secret, leading to her disappearance. Blomqvist's life hangs in the balance, but he is saved in the nick of time by Salander. In the aftermath of Martin's escape and subsequent accidental death, Blomqvist and Salander finally uncover the truth about Harriet. She had not been killed but had escaped from her abusive brother and built a new life for herself in Australia. They managed to track her down and reunite her with her uncle Henrik, bringing closure to the decades-old mystery. With the mystery of Harriet Vanger solved, Blomqvist turns his attention back to Wennerstrom. Using information provided by Henrik Vanger and further evidence unearthed by Salander's hacking skills, Blomqvist publishes a series of articles that not only vindicate him, but also lead to Wennerstrom's downfall. As the novel draws to a close, the relationship between Blomqvist and Salander becomes strained. Salander, who has developed feelings for Blomqvist, is hurt when she discovers him with his longtime lover and business partner, Erika Berger. Feeling betrayed, she decides to cut off contact with him, leaving their relationship unresolved. The novel ends with Salander, who had discreetly acquired a significant amount of money through her hacking endeavors, looking to start a new chapter in her life, while Blomqvist's reputation as a journalist is fully restored, and he continues his work at Millennium Magazine. Steve Larson's The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo transcends the boundaries of typical crime fiction, weaving a complex tapestry of themes that resonate deeply with contemporary societal issues. Central to the novel is the exploration of misogyny and abuse of power. Larson delves into the darkest corners of Swedish society, uncovering a world where wealth and status shield heinous crimes, 
as seen in the Vanger family saga and Wennerstrom's corrupt dealings. The character of Lisbeth Salander is particularly noteworthy. She emerges as a symbol of resilience against a society that has repeatedly failed her. Salander, with her extraordinary hacking skills and photographic memory, defies traditional gender norms and challenges perceptions of vulnerability and strength. Despite her troubled past, she is portrayed not as a victim, but as a figure of resourcefulness and independence. Her dynamic with Michael Blancfist, where traditional gender roles are often reversed, adds a fresh perspective to the genre. Larson's narrative is meticulously detailed, lending authenticity to the story. The slow unraveling of the intricate plot, combined with the detailed backstories of the characters, enriches the reader's understanding and engagement. This depth makes the twists and turns of the story all the more impactful, keeping readers invested in the outcome. The novel also poses ethical questions about justice and retribution. Salander's actions, though morally ambiguous, highlight the inadequacies of the legal system and the desperation of those failed by it. Larson skillfully uses her character to question the traditional mechanisms of justice. In summary, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo is a masterful blend of mystery and social critique. Its rich narrative, complex characters, especially the iconic Lisbeth Salander, and the thought-provoking themes make it a standout in crime fiction. Larson not only provides a gripping story, but also invites readers to ponder deeper societal issues, making the novel a significant and enduring work in modern literature. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of State Larson's The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. If you enjoyed this summary and analysis, please consider subscribing to our channel for more insightful book reviews and literary discussions. Your support helps us continue to bring quality content to book lovers like you.